sin, but just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. And he's called us. The one who called us is holy. He said for us to be holy. Mm -hmm. how, how do you feel about that? Do you think we're holy now? Do you really see Jesus in us? Mm -hmm. He paid the price, but do y'all see that? Mm -hmm. We got to move on up on that. For it is written, be holy because I am holy. Be holy because he is holy. God the holy God. He's one of holy people. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Like I said, we're the only light that the world's going to see. And if we don't get out there amongst the people, there's, there's nothing wrong with it. It's good to come to church and fellowship and stuff. But we need to get out in the streets amongst the people that are lost and doomed. Amen. Because without us going out there, they're going to be lost. Amen. And we're supposed to be holy. We're supposed to represent him. Right. Jesus came and gave his life for us to reconcile us back to the Father. That we might be holy. Mm -hmm. We're under the right. chapter of the enemy, and I know that. Yes. I'm going through. We all are going through. Yes. God is pruning his body. Amen. You see, if you're holy, you're going to stay. Yes. You understand? Yes. But if you wish you watch, you're going to fall by the inside. The Lord told me, He said, this is going to be a great thing. It's going to come. I've said so much stuff is coming upon the land. He said, if the people don't learn to get along and get close to each other, they're not going to be able to stand. Yep. Mm. Not gonna be able to stand. Not care what you say. How holy you think you are, but you're gonna be tried by fire like we're going through now. Amen. Some of you don't understand why you're going through this thing. <laughs> God is trying to get us prepared for what is coming up on that going to be. You wanna go to seventeen? Yeah, go to seventeen. Since you call on the Father who judges each man's work impartially. Live your lives as strangers here in, in reverent fear. That means we've got to cue to the line and live a close life with God. Go to uh go down to, to next nineteen. Uh, right. 17, 18, and 19, yeah. For I'm reading 18. For you know that it was not with perishable things such as silver or gold that you were redeemed from the from the empty way of life handed down to you from your forefathers. Now I'm reading 19. Mm -hmm. But with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. Okay. We were born with the blood of Jesus. <coughs> Look what Jesus did for us. He laid his life down for us. Do you think we are the church that you laid this life down for? And we can't even get along with one another? Mm -hmm. And we said we're saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost? Mm -hmm. And we don't even love one another? When you suffer, sister, I suffer. Yes. If you're hungry, I got a pound of beans. You got to have that pound of beans. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to come back to God. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to love first with y'all again. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember when you first got saved? Yeah. How you felt? How you loved everybody? Didn't he want to kill a boat? We were so in love with Jesus. But now, what has happened to that love out? I love his phone call. Go and give me Revelation. No? Go and give me St. John 13 and 34 and 35. God is calling for us to come back to holiness, clean living. Falling in love with him all over again. Yes. Because if we don't, we're not going to make it. Yes. 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 Said a new commandment that he gives us. That we will love one another. Now this is the commandment. This is not that I might love you. But this is what God has commanded us to do. Is to love each other. No matter what's going on. Amen. No matter how you've been treated. Because if you can't take it, you can't make it. Amen. All of the strong survive. Amen. When you're out there in the world, if you if you got the hair step and you get your hair brought to you. Amen. The same thing here with God. He's giving us power over the devil. Amen. And we sit down here like we are weak as, as, as our own club. Mm -hmm. And we let a, a lot of things the devil do to us that he didn't going to have the power to do. So, uh, I'm, I, I know that. Lord. I was in that. A lot of things we let the devil get away with that he's not supposed to get away with. Mm -hmm. He gave us a commandment to love one another. 
We found fault with each other, we said we loved each other, that's a lie from the pit of hell. Because action speaks louder than words. Yeah. If we love one another, we ain't gonna talk about one another. If we love with one another, we're not gonna back back. Yeah. We're gonna be in that person's company. When they're down, we be down with them. We'll get up under the load. I've been carrying loads with people for years. This sister was so weak and stuff, and she couldn't even walk or nothing. One part, she's talking about committing suicide. And years I carried her. Now that's a lot of how long you gonna have me to carry her and stuff. But now I, I don't know. I, I've been carrying for about almost 10 or 15 years. But right now she's up. She can walk. She's going to church, and she's seeking God's face. Amen. We've got to, he said, let the, let the strong bear the friends of the weak. We've got to help one another instead of talking about each yeah. other. Yeah. We're scared to tell each other what we're going through. Mm -hmm. Because we talk too much. Mm -hmm. and that is not of God. And that is not holiness. Yeah. And that is not love. And he commanded us to love each other. Yeah. You have no option about loving. You must love each other. Yeah. But God is love. And if you don't love each other, then you don't even know God. Because yeah. uh -huh. right. he is love. Yeah. And if you don't love one another, you don't know him. It's time for us to set yourself. Mm -hmm. Jumping and shouting is all right. But now ain't the time. Mm -hmm. We see the situation in the world. We can deserve what's getting ready to happen. But can you deserve it? You need to really seek God. Now, I'm, a, I'm the oldest thing in here. Mm -hmm. 74 years old. 75 in May. And, stuff. and I still fast. 14 days and nights at a time seeking God's face. Amen. We've got to know who God is. This is what's wrong. We don't even know why God is. We don't. We came to church, we came and went to a routine that we go through it. And we start following behind one another in that routine. Instead of taking time out seeking God for ourselves. Amen. Because if you don't know him, you're not going to be able to stand. Amen. Amen. That's right. You must get closer Amen. to God. Amen. That's right. Thank you. Enough is enough. Aren't you tired of church like it is? Yeah. Does this like holiness to you? Mm. Do it. You can church you go do the like holiness. Some of you that have been in the church for a while. Do you remember how homeless used to look? How the mothers used to weep and well before the Lord? Where is it now? Wow. There is a sound that God is looking for. We want to hear from his people. And we'll take it out to them. We don't weep and well before the Lord. Amen. Lord loves to see his saints. Yes. His children weeping and wailing before him. He so said it moves the heart of God. Yes. We'll let these things out. The better things we'll let them out and pick up old things. Mm -hmm. They call them holiness. Mm -hmm. But that's a lie. Mm -hmm. Only oh, seven Lord did get on out of the last night. Amen. Y'all forgive me that. Mm -hmm. Only the strong is gonna be able to survive. Yeah, we can fool so many people some of the time. Mm -hmm. But we can't fool God none of the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we better get it right with God. Because he's looking and booking. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you these things, young people. Y'all can live saved. You can live saved, but you want to live saved. Yeah, yeah. And you don't have to go around sinning. Mm -hmm. You can be a, a vessel for that God wants to use. He said, I called the young because they're strong. Mm -hmm. And if he they couldn't keep y'all, then he wouldn't have called you. All right. There's no excuse. The Bible says all excuses are still to the cross. Amen. Come on. And if it's down to the cross, then what you're going to go to school, ground? I just went out with young ladies, pulled my hair and hit me and everything else in school. And I wouldn't fight back. I wouldn't be going to bring a reproach against Jesus Christ. But we don't care what we reproach you bring against Jesus. I was out in the streets witnessing right down in Stockton. Because I worked the streets of San Francisco witnessing feeding people and preaching on the street corners and going from door to door and talking to people about God and stuff. And I was out there with the prostitute. This is something y'all don't want to get your hands dirty for. Mm -hmm. But you must do that. Oh, it's not all time in the church. You must go out and the harvest is right. And the labors are few. People are going to hell every day. We sit back and entertain ourselves by little quotas and our little old meetings and things. Mm -hmm. And what the hell means. Mm -hmm. But where's the glory of God has right departed right. from a lot of our churches? Right. And we're still going on in the flesh. Amen. Don't realize that the glory is gone. Yeah. Because you know why? Because we know how to have church. Mm -hmm. We know how to have church. Yeah. Without the glory. Yeah. God wants his glory back amongst his people. Amen. Well, when they walk in the door of the old church, when the people came in the door, the preachers used to preach, said, go to, don't go to the doctor. If you sit, come to the, to the house of the Lord, and God's going to heal you. And God healed us. Amen. You were healed. Yeah. People are hungry. People brought a food that they didn't even know they was hungry. but brought food to them. We don't lean on God no more. We lean on our own understanding. That's why a lot of things we're going through. I have been paying my taxes for the last two or three years. 
God's been supplying my needs every time the taxes do. I said, I don't know where it's coming from. But it's coming. And it's always there. We've got to learn to trust in God. If you don't trust in God, you won't make it. Yeah, because so right. many things that's coming up on there. Yeah, right. It's all farming up right now. It's all taking shape now. But we're so busy doing our own thing and calling it holiness. Mm. We don't even have love for one another. You might as well stand naked before God because I you can't hide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You might as well be naked before God. God said, here I am. I don't love like I used to love. I don't feel the same way about the saints like I used to feel. I don't care about the sins no more. God, you gotta do something for me. He's gonna come back to pay a call with your word yeah. right thing. Yeah. Not how how it is good to go to church and be faithful, but not that you have to come to the church and do what the pastor tell you to do and stuff and do your duties here. He don't have to tell you to go out on the streets and witness to people. Amen. This is the normal thing that we do Amen. as saints of God. Amen. Because we want people to say, this yeah. is normal. Thank you, Don. Oh, bless his name. Yeah. Bless his name. God, uh, look in his book. Yeah. Time out, baby. It's time out. So yeah. I told you, you all ain't gonna let me. So we love you, it's all right. It's all right. Good. That's good. It's all right. It's good, good anyway. Saints, seek God. Mm -hmm. Start fasting and praying. And if I'm gonna stay in there fasting and praying, y'all can do it too. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, as big as that, I can get this big and I need. <laughs> so therefore, you know, must love to eat some food. But there's a time that natural food do not fill me. That I want Jesus and nothing but Jesus. Yeah, yeah. We're the only Jesus that the world is going to see. And how will he look at when they look on you? Will they see Jesus? Or will they see your flesh? Yeah. Like I said before, I was witnessing to them, girls about the Lord and stuff. And they asked me what church I went to. I said, oh, I go to Second Century Church. So well, do you know missionary songs? I said, yeah, I sure do. I can just smile it. So that's the out curse this one we ever want to see. Things you do in dark is going to come to light. And you know, I'm going to come to light. I said, well, listen, I don't know nothing about that. The only thing I do is ask no fault in Jesus. I didn't even let them deliberate on that anymore. I put a bet on Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Because we're in the flesh. We are human. Yeah. This is why we're saints of God. We've got to learn to fall in love with God. Yeah. We've got to learn to love each other as never before. Because if we don't do that, we will not sin. Mm -hmm. Oh, bless you. I don't know about y'all, but I made it my mind almost 40 years ago. God, I give up everything for you. Warfarin had to go. Pills had to go. Alcohol had to go. Friends had to go. I wanted nothing but Jesus. When you get hungry for Jesus, you start seeking Him. And God wants His people's hungry for Him all over again. Yeah. Do you remember how you yeah. felt? Felt how, how good you felt yeah. when you first got saved? Yeah. And all that messes out of you? Look at you now. How you feel now? You better that people. Yeah. 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 We might as well tell the truth. We might as well tell the truth. Mm -hmm. Because God knows our hearts. Yeah. He knows our hearts. He knows our so they all been, I've been going through all day long. Because the enemy don't want you to hear the message of holiness. It's either holiness or hell. Yeah. Yeah. No yeah. in between. Yeah. You no compromise. Amen. At all. What are you going to do when you stand before the throne of God? What are you going to say? Mm -hmm. How many souls have you won? Mm -hmm. What did you do for me? Yeah. What, did, what are you going to say? Yeah. Didn't the Lord did not do it? You know, the poor for me that works up in it. I never knew. This is our road now. This little piece, this part of the Bible. This is our roadmap. This tells us just exactly how we are to live and how to conduct ourselves. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, my pastor didn't tell me, well, pastor, don't have to tell you everything. You got to ask me for yourself. Mm -hmm. Well, first, they didn't tell you. You got the roadmap before you. Amen. Read it. Amen. Learn what it said. And then if you if you don't have knowledge and wisdom, ask God for guidance. Ask God for wisdom years ago. Sometimes we get the Lord blows my mind up with you. Oh, that was too much. That was something else. <laughs> because I, it wasn't my wisdom, it was his wisdom that he revealed to me. And God loves his God just what he wants here tonight. <coughs> to let you know. You see the holes of your coat.